Okay, this is Mount St. Helens National Volcano Monument. We're on the south side right now. We're going to Mount St. Helens is 8,365 feet up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pass by Spirit Lake. And where is Mount Rainier? That will be the secondary spot. There's a free map. Yep, oh, there we go. Free map. Nothing's free. But uh, let me see. Mount Rainier right here 14,410 feet uh, we're gonna stay over there at Mike's up here he's got a, a ranch way the heck up here no boondockers and he's between both volcanoes so hopefully we'll have enough time to really do some in-depth research on it and watch out for those mushrooms because there's a warning on them Ooh, and no fireworks <laughs> anyway and we're seeing a whole bunch of interesting things. We got Jonathan over there on the one lane bridge that we just crossed. And we got the whole, look at that, going all the way down and all the way up. As we have some kind of park ranger or something following us. Some idea of the devastation. They're still clearing out this stuff. Okay. That is powerful. That is dangerous stuff. And we're right in the middle of it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's volcanoes, active, non-active, nuclear, whatever's. <coughs> Our God is more than sufficient. But, you know, this gives you some kind of idea of uh, how it just devastates. Okay? It's just like nothing. Toothpicks. Toothpicks. I'll give you a little bit of a scenery shot. Driving through the mountain bypasses and ranges over here near Mount St. Helens. All the mountain ranges around here. You know, the, the trees look fairly healthy. I, I haven't seen a lot of timber that's tumbling from uh, pH balance problems. But then again, you, you had a huge fire sweep through here and stuff, and, and that usually helps. But this is what the roads look like. We're about, uh, I'd say, 4,000, 5,000, no, probably higher up. Probably up around 7,000 feet up. All the roads are twisty turnies up here, you know. <laughs> By the size of these trees, you can tell they're only about 30 years old. So they might have been here, grown up here since the uh, since, volcano erupted. Yeah, since it blasted. But I mean, uh, it's just absolutely stunning. And you're with us in spirit. You see all the, the trees all wiped out through here. So Jonathan's probably correct on that. There was some kind of warning sign back there that we missed. Uh, warning, Bigfoot's running across the streets. <laughs> hey man, who knows? I got a partner that searches them things down. Okay, we're just down the river system from uh, Mount St. Helens, and you saw the all those bent trees and stuff. That was from the lower fork. Very fascinating landscape. Walking the grid. We're gonna head on over to the the more interesting volcano, which is going to be Rainier. A lot of the areas over here have been blocked off. I'm talking to a couple of the the forest people and. Very informative, very informative, very helpful. Uh, they're running all kinds of tests up here. <laughs> all kinds of them. Anyway. Yeah. Very interesting. So far, I haven't seen anything that's... Uh... I have not seen any deers. I have not seen any wildlife whatsoever. One... One squirrel, that's it. And I mean, remember when we were coming up the PCH? 
uh, uh, past San Francisco, man, we saw like 50, 100 deer up in that field range. We sure did. And I ain't seen nothing. And I mean, we are uh, way, way out in nowhere. I haven't seen a bird. I, I've seen a couple tiny little birds, but no eagles, no hawks, no, no nothing. So, you know. <laughs> I would expect in an area like this to at least see an elk. Yeah, no elk. I mean, this, they're, they bugged out, man. They, it's crickets and tumbleweeds up here as far as wildlife. All right, this is Hopkins Hill, Mount St. Helens viewpoint. You are 24 miles from the crater. Okay, major eruption happened at 8.32 a.m. May 18, 1980. Pre-eruption elevation, 9,677 feet. Post-eruption elevation was 8,300 feet. And look at, they even show you, look over there. There it is. Okay, we already drove in and through it and walked the grid up there. But this is nice. We're, we're heading over to Mike's pad right now and, and we're going to kick it there a couple days, God willing. But there's your Mount St. Helens. Can you imagine that thing? It says, oh! Over a cubic mile of debris. Just boom! And you'll see the flattened trees and stuff. The, some of the pictures we took and I'll add it to this. And there's a better picture of it. And you can see where it just gone. Oh, that's a, where that uh, cleft is in the mountain? Yeah, that's uh, Mount St. Helens. It's got uh, some over, over stuff over there. And then there's your secondary mountain right next to it. But we're going to check out Mount Rainier and, and uh, Crater Lakes. I guess that's what, about 3,000 feet down of a crater? Something like that. Anyhow, now we notice some uplift, some sloping, but uh, that's that's it right there. Yeah, that, behind it. That's this is another great picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the first mountain, but it's the second mountain back. Yeah. Hopefully they'll see it in the camera. Oh well, look at Dan! You can see the the forest blown away right there, man. This thing really rocked this you valley. Let me look out the window and do yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. It's that far mountain back there. It's got some overcast on it right now, mm -hmm. but it's not too bad. Usually, it's all fogged in from over here, from what I found out and understood. Okay. Good.